Hi Aries, welcome to this reading. I hope that you're doing well today. We have, oh my goodness, this has been a theme for, for like the last three or four readings. I know they don't always sync up, but this chariot in the reverse, you could definitely be dealing with a Cancer. You might be, they might be, one of you might have um, a Cancer placement somewhere significant in your chart. But really your person is saying, I feel so overwhelmed. They've really perhaps bitten off more than they can chew. Um, also, some of them might feel that they're trying to get away from something or someone to get towards you. And this other situation is really holding on to them. And I like to point this out in my <laughs> um, in my personal readings in the past. But when this is upright, to me, you know, it looks like obviously a crow flying past a cloud. In the reverse, it looks like a hand holding on to the crow that's trying to fly away. So, yeah, your person's having some struggles here. The chariot, some of them could quite literally be having problems with a car, you know, car maintenance, something like that, or um, trouble in terms of getting to you physically. But really, I think it's saying there's a lot going on. They're struggling to get on top of everything. <clears throat> okay, what else? Let's see. We have, oh my goodness, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. But this person, no wonder they're trying to get to you despite everything they've got going on. You are the one for them. They're in awe of you. At the moment, it looks like they have you on a bit of a pedestal. They're looking up to you, admiring you, taking inspiration from you. We'll see if we get the Emperor coming out, which will indicate to me that they feel that they are um, ready to be your equal. We have the magician oh my goodness you guys are so powerful and your person is seeing this you're in high vibration you're manifesting you're receiving there's abundance around you whether it's financial abundance health you've got lots of family and friends you know your energy is high maybe it's all of those things um but your person is seeing this and desperately wanting to be near you and actually feeling that something is holding them back. I'm becoming more and more curious about what's going on for them um, with this chariot. But let's see. Let's keep going for now. We have this Ten of Swords. It's on the side. So let's take it on the side. The Seven of Pentacles. See, look at this. This is a delay. This is being kept waiting. Your person feels, and you might disagree, you know, um, but they're saying they've, they've invested a lot in this connection, even if it hasn't been something tangible that you can see, the thoughts, the energy, the emotion. And they're saying they agree with you. It's taken too long already. So this is someone you've been dealing with for some time um, and they're ready to get going, you know. And of course, they don't want to lose you. You're really making waves. You're really pushing forward here. There's no way that this person um, is the only person admiring you. You know, it may be you don't realise that there are people admiring you. Maybe you're not interested in anyone else. But um, <clears throat> being the empress and the magician, you, you've got to be attracting attention. That's an incredible energy, you know. And even if it's not romantic, people kind of want to be around you right now. They want to collaborate with you. So your person is telling you, I can see this, you know, I see you moving forward, I see you doing well, and I love it, but I'm also, I'm ready now to, to come with you. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So it could be something here about divine timing. We have the Tower in the reverse, we've got Scorpio energy, we have Sagittarius energy as well, and we have the Hanged Man in the reverse. Okay, I kind of feel your person's, let me just try and fix this a bit. I kind of feel like your person is looking at you and assuming some things that may or may not be true. So your person's kind of asking, are you getting ready to walk away from me? Um, have you decided I've taken too long? Has the wheel been stuck for too long? With the hanged man in reverse, have you cut yourself free? Are you moving on? Are you getting ready? To go through this ten of swords energy you know by by leaving me behind by ending this situation some of you will be saying absolutely i almost feel i have no choice but to move forward i've waited you know and nothing's happening others of you will be saying no i'm pushing forward in other areas of my life but i'm still open you know to this connection so your person is one of the messages they have for you today is that they're a little bit uncertain about um i guess how you how you feel about them right now um do they have a chance with you? So I think you, you might have done something differently. Maybe you've pulled back. 
maybe you're focusing your energy into yourself right now rather than them this connection if there has been a disconnect you probably haven't been trying to reach out um but yeah they're seeing you grow and they're wondering are you growing and moving away from them or do they still have a chance here so there's some real uncertainty okay let's have a look let's start with this chariot in the reverse what is it um that's holding them Tell us about the chariot, please. What does this person want to tell my viewer about their situation? Ooh. Okay, we have Judgment and the Queen of Wands. So your person's almost saying, no, let's not talk about that. I am tired of all of the reasons I haven't been able to move forward. Let's talk about this new beginning, this rebirth. It's like they're saying, hold on, don't leave. Let me jump in the back of the boat with you and we'll sail off together. Queen of Wands, Empress. Guys, maybe you don't know it, but... You're getting attention <laughs> you probably have options here in terms of suitors again you may not want them you may not care these people might be keeping their mouth shut they may not have approached you or told you but there's no way you're not getting attention here maybe you do know about it um yeah but your person's saying come on let me let me come with you don't leave without me i don't even want to talk about all the problems that we know exist or the obstacles to overcome I'm determined to move forward even if I don't have a grip on, on stuff right now. I, I'm not going to let you sail off without me, without trying. You know, I have to try and catch you up and see how you feel. Absolutely, the sun, Leo energy, the star, Aquarius energy, the king of cups. Guys, look, <laughs> this person is in love with you. You were the sun to them and they have hope that they, you know, that, that you can move this forward that you can be guided forward together and if you are in separation that you will be led back to one another there's this person's not going to watch you go so if you have a choice to make if you've been wondering should i move forward or not um i feel your advice here would be yes you know keep moving forward keep growing because you're not going to lose this person you know even if they approach you and you say oh, you know what's going to be different can you tell me how it's different now it's different this time and you're not impressed and they go away I feel they're going to go away and come up with a plan or an idea and come back you know this is this is serious energy here serious feeling serious intention um, and i'm hearing that no matter how much they've tried to pull away or how far they've gone emotionally or physically in terms of distance they always find themselves being drawn back to you and this connection and that's one of the ways in which they found out over time just how special this is um maybe they thought they could put you out of their mind or they thought this was a connection like others you know it would pass it was just a crush it's it's not it's absolutely not and you see we don't have the emperor at least not yet so this person feels that in some way at least you are out of their league um so there's probably you know in the past they were probably insecure kept you at a distance because they thought well you seem to be liking me and admiring me um my cat is <laughs> i just looked up and my cat is staring at me gosh that's intense you seem to be liking and admiring me but if you see behind the scenes if you see who i really am um <laughs> maybe you're going to realize that i'm not worth your time i'm not worth your attention so if i keep you at a distance i can secure your interest and that's fine in the short term i guess but of course the will becomes stuck things stop moving at, at some point you know they naturally progress but your person kept things fixed right this seven of pentacles so why do they feel they've invested why are they impatient now page of cups in reverse this person's impatient to talk to you they want to reach out to you to speak to you um there's a message that needs to be delivered there's maybe even an apology that they need to make one of the ways in which they're saying they've invested is they've done a lot of work behind the scenes to become more mature with their emotions this is someone who maybe shut their heart space down and when they met you you activated it and they just freaked out and did all kinds of things pushed you know the push pull situation or just pushing you away blocking you then chasing you you know all of that stuff they were a page when you first met them and now these feelings they understand they're a king of cups they've worked to become more grounded more stable with their emotions and also with how they um, show up emotionally in this connection I don't think they've had a chance or created an opportunity yet to show you this growth. 
Um, to be honest, like I kind of feel that's probably on them. I think they've been looking for the right moment, the right time, and they've not been seeing that it's the right time because, I mean, in a sense, the right time is when they put themselves forward. You know, they're not going to get a message delivered from God saying, now's the time. Who knows? Maybe, but it's unlikely. Um, so they've got to put themselves out there. They've been holding off, holding off, holding off. And now they're feeling like, well, I've just got to do it because my empress, my emperor is, is moving on without me. So this person's been doing a lot of inner work is what I'm seeing. Anything else for the Seven of Pentacles? Yes, the High Priestess in the reverse. So doing a lot of work to connect to their intuition, to trust that gut feeling, because before it was all about the ego, fears, worries. Um, I just had shallow thinking. So from that, I'm, I'm feeling like, I mean, take it as it resonates. For me, um, you know, you let's say you think about doing something, it's scary, and then you think, oh no, it won't work. That that would be a shallow thought. But if you go beneath that and connect with with how it feels you know your gut feeling your intuition that might be saying that's a fear but actually you're prepared it's going to work or even if there's a setback you can find a way you know so not really spending the time or being able or knowing how to separate um their fears their worries their ego from their inner knowing and that's not always an easy thing to do especially when you're this caught up in your thoughts so your person's been investing by um trying to become your equal in terms of emotional understanding and maturity and also trying to follow your lead in terms of your courage the courage you get from knowing you know from this deep belief and, and from trusting um in the feelings that you have okay is there anything else please spirit before we move on to some channeled messages what does this person want my viewer to know I'm hearing they want to talk about what they're going to do. So let's see. What is it then? What do they want to do? <laughs> what action do they want to take? The two of Pentacles. So they want to try and get a grip on everything that's going on. They want to take the reins, you know, with that chariot card. And they want to decide how they move forward. They want to feel in control of everything. So this is someone who doesn't look like they're going to start dropping things left and right. Um, they're going to try and juggle everything, which may or may not be a good thing. And I notice in the background we have three birds. I don't know if it will show up. Can you um, see over here? So you, this person and the responsibilities, you know, their career, their chores, whatever they do. Um, okay, Eight of Cups in reverse. So if they've pulled away emotionally, they're coming back in. The Eight of Cups, this is someone who goes away on the hermit's journey, at least for me, that's how it feels. Um, and what do they realise? That the most important thing is that Two of Cups connection, because they have Eight Cups and yet they're not doing anything. It's that, that special soul connection that your person wants and they see that they have that with you. And we have the Five of Cups reversed, which to me feels like the Two of Cups energy again, except there's absolutely been a history here. There's been some heartbreaks and pain, some lessons, some struggles, some regrets and sadness. In the reverse, your person's focusing on your Two of Cups connection. So your person saying, you're the one for me, you're the one for me. Their intention here is to return, to show you their investment, at least emotionally. You know, I, I don't feel they've given too much in a practical sense yet for a lot of you. Um... And they're saying, I want to partner up with you. You know, I want there to be equal give and take. I want us to move forward together now. And we have the Knight of Cups on the back. So this is this can be a message. It's definitely heart centered. Yeah, Ten of Wands in reverse. So this person will not feel unburdened and free until they have spoken to you, until they have shown you how they feel. And this is an incredible step, I feel, for this person who in the past would run not even a mile, a thousand miles non-stop, you know, with no water, just to avoid telling you that they even liked you. You know, this person saying, I won't, I won't be happy with myself until I tell the viewer that I'm in love with them and that they're my, my soulmate, you know, maybe twin flame, depending on what terminology they know and use. Um, and, and that we, we have to be together in a partnership, whatever that partnership looks like. Wow. Okay. 
So let's get some messages and then we'll pull some cards looking at uh, characteristics, circumstances, um, that sort of thing. Okay. So Spirit, can you please pass through the messages from my viewer's person? So what does this person want to say? I just saw submit to me and sexual release. So for some of you, um, that's the confirmation. You know, if you're into like BDSM, um, sadomasochism, anything like that. Okay, what does this person want to say to my viewer, please? Anything at all? Maybe they don't want it to come through me. You're so stubborn. Are they kidding? <laughs> They're stubborn. They like these messages would not come out. So they might be doing a bit of um projecting, or this is something they've done in the past. Or maybe you are, maybe you are being stubborn now. And it's not really stubborn, it's setting boundaries. You know, you're the empress, you're the magician. why would you settle? You know, you're needing to see more from this person. Um and they're seeing that, that, that you're not going to bend over backwards for them you're not going to sort of cave or go back on something you've said or decided that you're quite fixed in your intention you know yourself very well oh wow we have marry me so some of you this could literally be a proposal you know maybe you're already in a relationship and, and that makes sense for others of you this is your person saying my intentions here are serious you know think of that two of cups energy the idea of a partnership i'm in this um for the long term and then we have call or message me. So this person might be wanting you to reach out to them first to reassure them that you are still interested. Now, if you've been looking for a sign, should you, shouldn't you? This could be it if it feels right. But of course, as it, it you know, it is a general reading and it's, it's your choice. You know, you definitely don't have to just because they're saying that's kind of what they would like. Particularly if you feel like really now it's on them. They need to step up. They need to make a move. We have unresolved father issues, so um, quite simply your person could have issues with their father, maybe they have um, a father who is still around and who is maybe overbearing um, and, and kind of tries to decide things for them. They could be a father themselves, if you're dealing with a man here. We have faithful to you, so they're saying they always have been in their heart space or, you know, they intend to be from now on with this marry me card. We have truth. Yeah, they really want to sit down and have a good, honest, truthful conversation with you. And um, I think it's pretty scary for them because it, it involves opening up about their feelings. And at this stage in the game, I don't think you're asking them or push it, pushing them to do this. But they're saying they're pushing themselves. It's time, you know, it's beyond time. And we have battling my ego. Yeah, remember that nine of swords. And also with this father issues card, it could be that they picked up some really bizarre, to say the least, um, values, beliefs, traits from a parental figure that have really shaped how they've been thinking and see, um, seeing the world and doing things. And, uh, and that's something that they've had to change or work on. And they're conscious of it because they're actively fighting it. OK, yes, the posts are for you. So if you're connected on social media or you can see something they're doing on the Internet or social media, they're saying, yes, I am doing this to get your attention. We have let's make babies. So again, it could be literal. It could be them saying, look, I'm, I'm serious. I'm here for commitment. Let's create something together. Let's let's grow this connection. And we have I feel possessive over you. So that could link to that sexual energy that came through. Um, a moment ago or they could be saying I, I feel protective um hopefully it's not possessive like crazy possessive you know but i just i will you know i want to make sure you're okay i keep an eye on what's going on and i don't really want to see you moving on um, and being with anyone else what's on the back we're crazy together so yeah this has been an up and down crazy journey for both of you um, but there's been significant growth and um, your person's keen to show you now to show you how they've grown how they've changed Okay, so more messages please. I'm hearing four, so we'll do four. We have peaceful. 
we have confident, masculine, and we have jealous. Mm, it's interesting with that possessive card. So, okay, this person on the surface, I feel like they're coming across as being peaceful, calm, confident, um, quite maybe forward or outgoing with this masculine energy. But in, inside, they're holding on to a lot of jealousy and actually probably insecurity that maybe you are um, attracting the attention of other people or that you're going to meet someone who's maybe more confident or more masculine than they are, if that's a concern of theirs. Um, but yeah, I think this is someone that on the outside seems like, you know, oh yeah, I'm fine, I'm great, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm not bothered by anything, but actually they're very, very bothered and they don't like when other people... Um, are around you and some of you might be happy about that others of you might think that's um you know they have no business feeling that way um just to mention i also just looked at the clock and saw 21 21 so you might want to have a look and see if that number is significant to you okay what else okay i'm hearing two so let's just pull two we have financially comfortable and we have oh, employed so employment work finances seems to have been a concern of this person recently if they have been struggling it looks like they've managed to um figure this out now and they're feeling on more of an even keel here um maybe they you know for whatever reason found themselves unemployed and now they found a new position something like that um maybe this person wants you to know that they they are comfortable financially maybe they feel like that's something that that would set your mind at ease or um if you have known them in the past to be struggling with money they want to say you know i've figured it out now you know i'm i'm not embarrassed anymore if that's something they were embarrassed about um i can step up i can provide for me and for you if, if that's something you would like you know um so wanting to be your equal in that way as well For some of you, I'm getting an, an additional message that this person is employed and they're financially comfortable, but they look at you as the empress and the magician as, I'm hearing no limit. It's almost like there's no limit to the income that you have or earn um, or could make, and that makes them feel a bit... Um, not threatened. Um... Well, spirit's telling me, yes, threatened. Panicked. Yeah, threatened, it sounds like this person's in their ego about it, you know, but it's more like a, a feeling of, of panic. I don't really understand why. I can't feel why. It's not jealousy. It's not um, because of any kind of archaic ideas of, of who should earn more money. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's them looking at you and seeing your ability to be creative to draw in resources, whether it's money or love or joy, you know, whatever it is, there's, it's like this person saying, yes, I'm, I'm comfortable and that's great, but they look at you as, as being so much more than comfortable. Um, yeah, I'll leave that there. If that resonates, take it, because I'm not exactly sure where that's going, but, but if that's for you, you'll know. Um, okay, so I will clear these away We'll do the one question, one card reading. Um, so if you would like to leave your question for next time, uh, which will be Friday's reading, please just leave it in the comments and I'll enter you into the draw. It's it's unbiased. I just use a program on the computer and you can have a look at the video link below to see how. Um, and then we'll pull a name and do your question. Um, so yeah, so just leave a question in the comments. And then I'll move over to Vimeo for the extended. So if you're heading over to join me, excellent. I will see you there. If not, great. You know, thank you for watching. I hope you, you got something out of this. And I hope to see you tomorrow because I'll be doing the bonus reading tomorrow. So whichever is the runner up for the poll that I have on the community tab. Okay, so today's winner is Ingrid Wardle. I hope I've pronounced your surname correctly, who asks, does he love me? So Spirit, can you please show us, does Ingrid person love her? Does he love her? Please make it clear. So Ingrid Wardle wants to know, does he love me? 
we have the page of wands and on the back we have the page of pentacles okay and underneath this we have the nine of cups and i will stop eventually but i just want to show you one more we have the star hold on i lied one more just one, one more the nine of pentacles okay so it looks to me now this person he feels whether he's consciously aware of this or not he feels that this, there's something special and unique about this connection maybe it just struck him out of the blue maybe you have many things in common or there are lots of synchronicities between you but he feels very um this connection makes him feel hopeful excited and he feels very guided towards you like in some way fate played a big part we could also be um aquarius energy that's important here but your person in his logical 3d mind he's saying i feel like i'm at the beginning of this journey i want to take it kind of slow now i don't know if you really are at the beginning or he's dragging his feet but he seems to feel comfortable with being quite independent for now with the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles and moving forward um at a slower pace i'm not seeing signs of love here um you know a soul recognition for sure is of a potential for love absolutely but consciously how does he feel well he's saying he's excited by you he's um he's keen to explore this connection he might feel inexperienced in this particular connection in some way and actually he's looking to be um around for some time because he wants to invest with this page of pentacles energy so it's all about solid steady action and effort but it's not about taking huge humongous you know massive leaps it's about building up in a, in a passionate solid way over time um and while he's doing this for now he's saying i think i'm going to keep my independence um he is really excited by you by this connection and he feels that you are someone he would love to be with to get to know more about um so if you're looking for advice I would say, you know, go with it. Um, if you're happy to take it slow, take it slow and let him realise his love for you over time. Because I feel with the star, there is some really, really deep feelings underneath that will come to surface. And if he feels pushed, if he feels rushed, he's going to push back against those, you know. So let them unfold naturally. But make this fit your situation. If it's not a new connection and you've been waiting for, you know, like six years, I mean, it might be time to say, hey, what's going on? Um, and he might need a bit of a nudge. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, I, I'm seeing good intention here. But take this and, and see how it fits, like I said, with the connection as you know it already. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want the extended reading, the link is in the description box. Otherwise, I hope I will see you again. Um, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's reading will be, I haven't checked which is leading, but when I last looked, it was what am I manifesting um, or messages from my future self. And then Friday's reading will have a look at what's hidden in your connection with your person. Okay, take care. Bye.